The Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that there's no action that a person can do that is more effective in saving them from Allah's punishment than remembering Allah. And that's because we kind of have a cute and quaint association, I think, in the English language when we think remember Allah, we just think about Alhamdulillah and SubhanAllah and these things. And that is what it is. That's kind of the, um, the outer form of it, right? But really, what is the purpose of the outer form is to attach our hearts and our awareness and our consciousness to Allah, right? Because as the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said in another hadith, um, a person who steals, they're not a believer when they're stealing. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi didn't mean that the person left Islam. It means that they lost the plot, right? They they forgot themselves. They weren't uh, remembering Allah when that happened. No one's going to remember Allah, say Bismillah, and then, you know, throw down some alcohol or something like that, right? It's usually a moment of forgetting or more than a moment of forgetting and being unaware, right? Uh, and so if we are able to build up a fortress of awareness, right, and uh, habituate ourselves to a constant awareness, or at least if that's not possible, then a constant returning to awareness, then this is the most effective way to stop sinning. This is the most effective way to stop uh, all the foul behaviors and, and habits that we have, because you're going to be more constant. It's like uh, we could say Islamic mindfulness, right? You are more mindful of what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants from you, right? That with the more that you repeat Allah's name or his names or these sorts of uh, formulas of of praise and uh, dhikr, then you're constantly bringing your awareness back to this source of everything that you have, the source of uh, of gratitude, right? And all of the things that you have to be thankful for, it's all Allah. So how are you going? You would be embarrassed, right? If you're remembering Allah and you're remembering who Allah is and everything he's done for you and how great he is, you would be embarrassed. You'd be ashamed to commit some sort of foul deed or say some bad thing or do these sorts of things. Most people, when they do sin, it's because they've temporarily forgotten. It's because they have been prevented from remembering Allah in that moment. And so if we work on ourselves to the point where remembering Allah and being aware and mindful of Allah is something that's automatic, or it's something that's constant, or it's something that we are constantly returning to, then that is the most effective thing to prevent us from punishment in the afterlife, because we're carrying that awareness with us wherever we go, and it's actually having an impact on the things that we do.